Just three days after declaring football independence, eight All-American quarterbacks were on hand Saturday as BYU opened the 2010 campaign hosting the Washington Huskies, coached by one of those All-Americans, Steve Sarkeesian. Heisman Trophy favorite Jake Locker wasted no time finding Devin Aguilar for 20 yards on the Huskies' first play from scrimmage. Jesse Collier took off for 39 yards deep into BYU territory, and Locker hit Jermaine Curse for the 19-yard touchdown just five minutes into the game. It is a Washington touchdown! Later in the quarter, the Cougars got on the board with their first points in an unconventional way. On the snap, chucks it in the end zone, safety! Two points, BYU! After a rough first series, true freshman Jake Keeps completed three straight passes for 10 or more yards, but the drive stalled in the blue zone and BYU settled for a 22-yard Mitch Payne field goal. Another special teams blunder put Washington deep in its own territory as Chris Polk slipped at the two-yard line on the kickoff. The Cougars later took over in Husky territory and Riley Nelson used his feet to move the ball down the field and his arm to find Josh Kazada for the nine-yard touchdown. Throws in zone! Touchdown! But Locker responded with a nine-yard scramble into the end zone just over three minutes later. Lunging for the end zone! He's in, touchdown Washington! BYU continued to win the special teams and field position battle all game. The Huskies started at or inside the 20-yard line on nine of their 11 drives. Riley Stevenson booted three punts inside the 20-yard line, including this one that bounced out at the one late in the first half. How about that punt? But the Huskies escaped the shadow of their own end zone and Eric Folk milled a 54-yard field goal as time expired to give Washington a 17-13 edge at half. With play, a leg to spare. After a 29-yard pain field goal cut the deficit to one, Nelson found a wide open J.J. Luigi down the middle for a 48-yard touchdown to take the lead. Luigi will score, touchdown BYU! Nelson and Heaps rotated every series, each throwing for 131 yards and no interceptions. I don't ever think this year it will be exclusively one or the other. It might shift one way or the other based on how and whom we're playing, but they've earned the right to continue on just from what I saw today. If we win every game like this, then yes, I'm ecstatic about it. For everybody that's that's doubting what this is all about, this is about what, what is best for the team, what is best for us winning, and uh, you know, whatever that is, me and Riley are gonna accept our roles and we're gonna do it the best we can. And BYU's defense shut down Locker and the Huskies in the second half, including this pass breakup by Brian Logan on fourth down. He's short, but he just, he's not little. He plays big and he plays confident and he makes critical plays, which good defensive or offensive players do. With Washington knocking on the door again with under two minutes left on the clock, the Cougar D was called on again on fourth down. Fourth and six. Locker throws, tips, and incomplete. BYU holds. The 2007 Las Vegas Bowl hero again came up with a huge block to preserve the 23-17 win against the Huskies. Both times, I had, I had no anticipation of blocking anything. So, uh, I don't know, I guess it's all luck. Entering the game, it was perhaps the defense that had the most question marks for BYU, but it was the defense that made the play of the game to preserve a second half shutout against Washington. In Lavelle Edwards Stadium, Robbie Bolo, True Blue.